Hello and mabuhay and welcome to Ibiza Universe! And of course, for this very special episode, we will be featuring a tutorial of Lepco Custom Jurassic World the game uh, Stegoceratops. And here's the making. So this is my base figure. So we'll be doing not that much um, edits on this one. Okay. So I'm I'm uh, marking the the parts that uh, we're going to change later. So. This one, we'll put some uh, articulation on this one. So be careful in using a uh, dra uh, Dremel. So I'm using the old uh, socket of the Spinosaurus. So we will uh, remove also these uh, spikes on its uh, crest. On its head and we will uh, relocate the um, the horns this one it's very easy to remove this one because it's made of um, uh, plastics so but we're going to add some more length on this one to be honest, this is like uh, a horn of a Nasuto Ceratops uh, level 14. If you know the uh, Nasuto Ceratops level 14, they have the same uh, position of the horns. And we're starting to play the exposed parts. So we are using um, non stuck epoxy. Two equal parts. We add a uh, flower on this one to bind it. Now we're uh, sculpting the horns, and on this part, we extended the uh, the head. The frills. I'm sorry. The frills with a plastic foam and then we top it with the uh, clay just press it down to flatten this one this one is a little bit higher compared to the uh, original uh, base figure and we're now putting uh, cutouts of its plates on its back it has three rows the level one or the um, non, uh, level 40 have uh, the two lanes two rows only that's why again this is a plastic foam The middle part, the middle uh, plates have one, have five, and this one have I think eight. The two outer lanes, and now we're going to uh, put the uh, extended uh, um, spikes on its uh, frill. So again, this is a plastic foam. So this is these are cutouts. So, I individually uh, place it like so, okay? And after this one, we are going to uh, primer it with gray. And then, we're now going to top it with white paint. Since the color of this one is so bright, so for them for us to see the blue color, we have to uh, primer it again with white one. Okay, actually the whole thing. And we are now going to announce the winners of our Dynamaster Challenge. And here are the winners: Aiden Stevenson, Top Seven, Graphic Friends, Top Six, Lab Book, 
top 5 of the Nivaldo points. Top 4. Taitra Wang, bronze medalist, Utah Economic medalist, silver medalist, medalist of Vietnam Brick, and gold medalist. Congratulations, winners! And for those of you who want to join, so easy, just type Amita Universe. Don't forget the universe. Then go to the community link for you to see our latest post. Continuing on with our painting, so after that, and we try to white paint. We're now going to brush the whole thing with exclusing the uh, plates. Actually, this is a combination of blue, white, and some cerulean blue. But I just play the colors on the uh, toy itself, not on the mixing plate. So I just play it here. So later I'm going to brush it with white one and add some more white and this is the body. So again, just play with the colors. Don't uh, be scared. It's just a painting, okay? Including the top one. Leaving the uh, underbelly because it has a different color. You will see it later. And please don't forget to follow us on our other social media platforms. Uh, Facebook, TikTok, and on Instagram. If it's all universe. And after that, the fields, the center one will be painted with a combination of the leftover of the blue plus a very very small amount of black to make it appear like this up next we're going to paint the frills again with black this is uh, a black and a combination of the leftover of that uh, black and blue uh, mixture so instead of putting clay, we're just going to put some illusion on the, um, the frill. And we're going to put some uh, detail, that detail on this part. This is a pure black. Later, we're going to mix it up with other, with other color. You will see it later. Now, we're going to start painting the plates. This is a combination of uh, uh, what do you call a little bit of brown, white, and um, oh, yellow ochre. It's very simple, just the whole thing. Just paint it with the uh, mixture. And now the uh, uh, spikes on its frill. Actually, this one is I don't know the measurement of this. I think it's a bit over an inch, or a, I don't know. I forgot. And now on this part, the uh, spikes on the middle section of the. Uh, of the frills and now the underbelly but for the underbelly just put some more yellow canary yellow uh, this is not a canary yellow. this is a yellow color I, I forgot the real color but it's the yellow U. so add some more yellow on the leftover of the yellow ochre that we use on the spikes so it will appear and it will look uh, a little bit lighter compared to the uh, color of the horns and the frills and the spikes on its plates. Oh, 
Oh, by the way, thank you again for subscribing, guys. If happens, if you haven't uh, subscribed, subscribe on this channel. Please subscribe. And we're nearing 5,000 subscribers. As I promised, I'll be doing uh, customs other than uh, uh, Jurassic World Dominion uh, characters or dinosaurs. So, share, share, share. So we could achieve it earlier and now the plates will be uh detailed with uh this is i think uh brought burnt sienna so it's very easy just do like this one eight. And now we're going to uh, dry brush, uh, paint the uh, tip and the bottom part of the uh, the horn, uh, the spikes on its frill with uh, the leftover of that brown thing, uh, the burnt sienna, to create uh, um, contrast. And some kind of uh, patch light on the mid section of it. And then after that, the uh, outer uh, portion of these spikes will be painted with a combination of orange and some, I think this is orange and um, what is this one? orange and uh, ochre yellow but um, a more diluted one so it won't take the whole color it's like an off pitch I may say so and now for our black detailing on its body this is just a plain black I think oh no this is not a plain plain black this is a combination more of a uh, black and blue then after that we will paint the nails uh, with a yellow color <clears throat> What I love about this uh, hybrid is that it's very simple. The coloration is uh, straight to the point. That's it. No, there's no uh, much drama on its uh, color. Just plain thing, okay? And we're going to put some yellow uh, glow on the black uh, detail on its back. And this is what I'm saying earlier. So aside from blue, I uh, from black. We will add some dot uh, detail. Uh, we will add some purple detail on this part, so it will uh, give a good uh, combination with the black. It will give a purplish uh, feel on this part. So, guys. I think we'll just finish some more details and please watch the part 2 of this video on Thursday only here on Ibito Universe. Till next time, bye!